A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. First of all, I'd like to wish you a very, very happy new year, 2012. So in this new year, as you can see there, I had given myself a new tattoo on my arm. So do give me the feedback how the tattoo is, lo is looking on and on the arm. It merely shows that how strong the Linux is and how beautiful it is the tattoo as well as the Linux okay so what's in this video in this video I'm going to share you a very small thing a very small thing about FTP banners how to configure a single line and a multi line FTP banner we all know that the banners can be very helpful in hiding your uh, servers identity and uh, throwing out relevant message or a warning to your clients or your employees so let's see how to configure a single line banner and how to configure a multi line banner and what are the threats if you don't configure the banner so again we are working on rel 6 so i have my trusted virtual machine here for you here is my virtual machine so i log in here so in this machine it's a rel 6 machine that's great so I have a FTP configure here I'd, I'd simply install the FTP yum install vs FTPD I'd already done this and then I had started the service service vs FTPD restart or put a check config vs FTPD on so that it should be available across the reboots that's great very simple very safe now the FTP is, ru is running here and I have got an account here alloc so now what I'm going to do I'm going to log in with alloc from a different machine say here it is I'm on a different machine now what I'm going to do now I just do a I write here FTP 192.168.0.200 200 is the IP address of my uh, FTP server look anybody can give this command anybody even if if I don't know any login name any passwords I can still give this and uh, give this command this commands my server very easily and happily shares his version number that it's ru it's running on version 2.2.2 here it is and it's a VSF FTPD version 2.2.2 fine I know the login name and the password so I, I can log in here but the thing is that it's a dangerous thing dangerous in the sense that by merely hitting with the FTP client my server is disclosing its identity I don't want this if I am a determined hacker what I can do I can now go on onto the web and try to find out the bugs and the weaknesses related to this particular version and then I'll try to hit back so the better ways and a safe way is always hide the identity of the server so how to do this in my case so here I log, uh, log in with our look I do a buy here I go back to my my server to configure a single line banner it's very simple just open up the main con file that's great and search for the line FTPD banner uncomment this and you can write your own customized message here say I write here welcome to network nuts FTP service that's great that makes sense now save and come out start the service sorry that's great now if I try to hit again let's see what happened I go here again I try to do FTP now that makes sense the server is not disclosing the identity instead it is giving me that particular banner message now it will be difficult for any potential hacker to hit you down because it might take some more time to hit you because you are not disclosing the identity of the your uh, server but it is a single line banner now I want to give a more detailed warning message or something like that means I need to, con to configure a multi line FTP banner how to do that let's do a buy from here again go to the service ag again now if you wish to configure a multi line banner in case of FTP write anywhere here so I just comment this out because I will be using the multi-line banner I go to the bottom the easy way is here I'll write here say 
uh, I give a comment here multi line FTP banner and then oh sorry just write here FTP underscore banner is actually banner file banner underscore file then the path etc banners say FTP dot message I have this file already configured here so means the banner file and then I had referred to a particular lo uh, location with a message file FTP dot message I need to save and come out I hope it's loud and clear just write the line banner underscore file etc banner some any folder name then FTP dot message the file name can be anything but it's always a good practice to have a relevant file name or a meaningful file name save and come out now create that folder and I had already configured that I created a file there FTP dot message and then write whatever you want to write so in this case I had written this particular message here that warning it's a multi line all activities are being logged I can write one more line here say uh, say bye network nuts admin that's great save and come out and obviously when you had done the changes here you need to do a restart of the service that makes sense now again go to the client side now let's see what happens who are that makes sense that is beautiful you can very clearly see here that a multi-line banner is coming up here so I am hiding my identity and as well as I'm warning them them that you are accessing a secure server and all your activities can be logged and then the normal login uh, process will be done as usual so these are the two ways that might be helpful for you if you wish to secure your FTP server the same things can be done means the principle rem will remain the same that please never disclose the identity of the server so that's the idea behind this particular video but in this video I had specifically focused on the FTP side so I hope you like the video and I also hope that you like the tattoo also the tattoo and I will be working on my arm more uh, I have a, a small injury in on my wrist so I'll uh, so I think I'll be hitting the gym in uh, next two or will not be hitting the gym in for next two or three days then I'll be hitting back so thank you once again God bless and again I wish you a very happy new year.